Hi. So, shit is getting serious. I left my home country. I visit. I visited my parents' new home country, and now I'm I'm traveling Europe. My general idea, except for you know, travel itself and uh, seeing a bit of Europe, which I didn't see too much up until now, is um, actually to get myself focused, to get myself open, to make, to get myself more communicative and more. Um, aware of uh, the stuff that is going on and will be going on. Um, I have some kind of project in mind, which can be a commercial project, which can be a social project or an academic project, but I decided it didn't matter what kind of project is that. I will still need to be able to freely communicate with people all over the world starting with Europe which is the cradle of the civilization at least the internet civilization uh, some people might not agree with me but I don't care uh, anyway it's a cradle for me there's a war going on which is one of the reasons I thought it would be a high time to make myself visible and uh, to make some advances with a project of mine which we'll touch on later on. Right now I'm getting serious about traveling and I've uh, I did uh, several uh, bike trips up until now. I uh, went from Zurich to Geneva. Now I'm in Geneva, and I'm going to go back to Zurich in one three-day trip. So, uh, just a few words about myself. I'm uh, one of the first generations of software engineers, which have seen it all, developing from uh, a small deviation from, let's say, engineering, industry, engineering practice or whatever, growing into a phenomena that is now the internet, the information technology around it, and the social impact that it all does to us, it has on us. I'm sorry, I, th I hope my English uh, gets better because right now I have no uh, out of practice with my English because, uh, you know, uh, they don't speak too much English in Switzerland when I've been like practicing my bike riding. Um, I'm totally out of shape. I'm... <laughs> I'm, um, let's say, not young anymore and I'm totally out of shape. This is how I look at the moment. Uh, not great, eh? And I feel even worse than that. Uh, and I hope to improve my 
feelings about myself and I hope to get in shape both uh, physically and mentally with this travel of mine. So up until now um, I've been uh, jumping from Airbnb to Airbnb. Uh, thank you Airbnb for doing an okay work with uh, helping people to find each other in terms of accommodation, accommodation providers and accommodation seekers and also making uh, quite a bit of revenue in the process. I was a bit surprised by the prices of accommodation here in Switzerland and uh, even slightly more surprised of the prices of the you know service fees that Airbnb um, charges uh, from the uh, you know residents I suppose um, and the interface and their functionality haven't been really improving since I remember first using them. It's all the same and I think that the fees just go up and up and uh, well anyway this is something that I need to do just now. I need to book my accommodation for the next three stops, two short stops in the middle for one night and one for longer stop in Zurich where I will be staying for my work days of the week of which I have four of seven so from now on the idea is to cycle for three days to make not less than 270 kilometers hopefully a bit more and to work for my client uh, as I'm a software engineering consultant I work for a startup client four days a week and do some more stuff uh, on my way like recording some videos like this so uh, what challenges did I have uh, up until this moment? The first one uh, I just mentioned, the Airbnb all the way without being absolutely sure which dates uh, will uh, be, um, which dates you beware uh, and uh, a lot of factors that can affect your journey like uh, weather. I did uh, stay in Bern quite, uh, I think, four days more than I planned just because of the weather. And uh, if I had booked in advance, I would probably be either disappointing uh, my host and losing some service fees in the process and maybe even uh, more than that and uh, I would and if I'm not booking in advance at least a little bit I, I can't book from uh, today to tomorrow because usually the good places are disappearing uh, by the hour uh, so Airbnb, uh, that's the first challenge, to have uh, your uh, places of accommodation booked. I mean, uh, there are probably quite a bit of guides of bike camping. What I'm doing at the moment is not quite bike camping. I'm not sure that I heard of anyone that uh, did quite what I have in mind, like uh, cycling for three days 
and working remotely for four days let's see how it goes at least uh, I, I'm starting right at this moment so uh, I will be booking three days uh, three uh, sorry three uh, accommodations ahead two of one night and uh, the third one of uh, five nights right if I'm not mistaken so uh, up until now I, uh, I did some train rides my first first uh, tryout ride was around two o'clock uh, it took me a whole day. It wasn't easy. It wasn't too hard. It was okay. Uh, so I decided I'm up to try and reach Bern on bicycle. Bern. So I went uh, Basel and then Bern. It was uh, pretty hard on some parts of my body but uh, nothing uh, too much of an obstacle at the moment. The question is just to leverage your shape against the, uh, you know, stops and uh, all other conditions that you can, uh, uh, that you have. And also, uh, I cheat a little bit, uh, some, minor parts of the way I took a train uh, up until now it wasn't uh, it wasn't more than 10 or 15 percent of the way uh, and Switzerland is ideal for that because uh, this is pretty dense country and uh, a pretty small and pretty dense populated country so you have uh, trains uh, all over the place and you're never too far from a train unless you're really really far in the mountains and you will not be in the mountains if you're out of shape and riding a bicycle so um, I went uh, from uh, Zurich to Bern through Basel uh, I stayed uh, I stayed in Bern uh, just a little more than I planned I, I took a train from Bern to Zurich to pick up my luggage, which was waiting for me in a luggage storage room at the Zurich uh, train station. Uh, curiously enough, it's, uh, it's quite expensive. Uh, another option which I tried just now is to send my luggage, which is like I have two suitcases, of uh, the stuff of all my stuff that I have at the moment like all of it uh, in the two uh, suitcases plus a bicycle and a backpack so uh, I uh, I sent uh, my suit, suit, two suitcases poster restante which means you can send it ahead to some place and then pick it up uh, I sent to Lausanne because I wasn't, uh, um, I couldn't quite get uh, to Geneva directly, so my uh, my um, one of the stops was uh, Lausanne, and I got there through the way of uh, Sion. Uh, Sion is a nice little city. Lausanne is a. Uh, uh, a little bigger and little and uh, somewhat less um, interesting city. That's, I'm sorry for me. Anyway, so uh, up until now it was Zurich to uh, Bern through uh, Basel. In in Bern I spent a little more time than planned because of the weather. From uh, uh, from Bern to Lausanne. Uh, by the way of Sion, uh, very very impressive ride uh, by the Alps and stuff. Uh, took a bit of train because uh, some places are really too hard for a beginner cyclist to uh, uh, go on. I even had to dismount at some point somewhere in the Alps. 
I hope uh, it will show the video um, when I uh, get the videos ready. I uh, shoot video with this GoPro of mine uh, and uh, then uh, uh, from Lausanne I decided to, took, uh, to take uh, a bit of a rest here in Geneva and to regroup so to say. I uh, ordered a rear rack for my special bicycle. You will see it uh, eventually uh, in a video. I will explain uh, what kind of bicycle I have. Uh, hint, it's a, a gravel style foldable bicycle which has a bit of a problem with the rear rack so I had to uh, order it from the uh, from the company and I also bought some bags. I hope my next uh, legs of journey will be technically simpler because I uh, pumped, uh, I pimped up my bicycle a little bit. Uh, and um, so right now I'm going uh, from Geneva to Zurich uh, in one weekend trip. It will be a Thursday, Friday and Saturday, hopefully, hopefully I make it, three days, first time, three days trip, wish me luck. Uh, and then uh, uh, I will stay in Zurich, I will heal for uh, five days, like four days, five nights or something like that, not sure I'm counting this right. Uh, anyway, and then I will go up uh, in the direction of Berlin, up to Ger in Germany, in the direction of Berlin, through Stuttgart, through uh, probably Leipzig, or something like that. I will make my um, uh, route and my Airbnb reservations uh, on my way. I can't. I mean, it would be too optimistic to plan too far ahead, so I'll be planning just one week at a time, at least for the next two weeks, and then we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, what else? Uh, usually Airbnbs are nice, especially if you are uh, careful in choosing not the cheapest ones, but somewhere just below the uh, average of normal accommodation. Because here in Switzerland, somehow more than half of accommodation are super expensive. Probably a lot of um, well-off rich people use Airbnb as well, so there's a lot of places with just exuberant uh, prices that uh, for, um, you know, lodging. So uh, if you take the uh, range of uh, normal accommodation, like uh, normal people, not to reach engineer level people, then uh, right above, uh, right below the average, uh, it starts to look okay in terms of both accommodation and the hosts. Uh, so uh, you should have a kitchen. I didn't like uh, uh, either prices or um, the quality of the eating out here in Switzerland, especially uh, down here in the south, um, I'm sorry, so uh, you're better off like buying your food and having kitchen at your hosts and uh, preparing some food for yourself, some scrambled eggs, some salads, which you can be, you, you can uh, buy cut salads at any supermarket here, uh, or cheese of course, uh, and uh, things like tuna, salmon, whatever you like. Uh, there's a lot of meat options. I don't eat meat, so uh, I can't really tell, but it seems to be okay as well. Anyway, um, 
anyway uh, everything is okay with the food here and as long as you have uh, a bit of a place to prepare your food I think uh, there's no reason to go out and eat and there's also in this uh, uh, style of travel there's not much time for that either so uh, most of my time is dedicated to this remote work traveling and preparing for travel with a little bit activity uh, uh, on my project which I'll be telling about uh, later on let me think if I'm forgetting anything um, food, laundry um, the, uh, the best uh, place to buy stuff is either in Switzerland, just Switzerland wise is uh, either in Zurich, because it's the single largest city in uh, Switzerland, or online. Uh, here and there you can find the good stuff, uh, the, the taxes on actual uh, stuff, on things, are, is pretty low here, despite uh, generally being a very expensive place. Uh, things are not that much more expensive than uh, anywhere else. Uh, in some cases even less expensive so uh, if, uh, if you need things uh, like this GoPro camera or, uh, or any electronics or any you know uh, bike stuff or whatever uh, you can buy uh, um, within reasonable price range you have of course to be careful and uh, see around um, but uh, then, yeah, um, it's uh, it it's mostly okay. Uh, Switzerland uh, seems, uh, at first glance, a little more organized and orderly than it really is. But uh, it's uh, it's not that bad anyway uh, especially in the north as you as you might expect uh, canton wise if you know what i mean um, so yeah from now on i don't think i will be have i will have uh, too much time for um, anything else but traveling preparing for travel maintaining myself and working remotely a bit for the client and just a little bit for my project that's about it for now see you soon